Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how we can calculate mean, median and mod and frequency table. We have this example. The data in table below are the annual maximum flood peak flows to Hardab Dam in Nambia, with catchment area 12,600 km square, covering the period from October 1962 to September 1987. The range of this data is from 30 to 6,100 meter cube per second. Calculate mean, median, and mod. Here we have this data. We have 25 data. Largest one is 6,100. Smallest one is 30. Let's solve it. First, let's calculate mean. We have this data. Number of data is 25. If you count the data, we have 25 data. Maximum number is 6,100. Minimum number is 30. And we have to calculate number of classes by this formula. This one or this one. N is number of data. For example, I use this equation. It equal 1 plus 3.322 times logarithm of 25. It equal 5.64. We can take 6 as number of class. Now let's calculate class with this. Class width is equal to maximum number minus minimum number of a number of classes. It equal 1011.667. We take it as 1012. Good. Number of classes. 1 to 6. Okay. Then class limit. First lower. We have to put 30 or a little less than 30. For example, 29, 28. We put it 30 as a minimum lower limit. Then second lower limit equal to 30 plus 1012. It become 1042. Third lower limit equal to 1042 plus class with this. It equal 2054 and so on. For upper class limit, it equal 30 plus class with this minus 1. A little less than this one. 1041 30 plus class with this minus 1 to become a little less than succeeding lower class limit good 2053 this one 2053 plus 1012 it become said upper class limit and so on now we have to find frequency frequency for this class limit 30 from 1041 if you find and count you see we have 20 data between this lower and upper class limit for the second one we have three we have three data between 1042 and 2053 if you look into this table for this one we have no data for this class 3000 66 to 4077 if we search from here for example we have only this data between this range and the summation of frequency must be equal to 25 and equal with the number of data okay class mark class mark equal to lower limit plus upper limit divide by two okay good then fi multiply xi xi is class mark frequency multiply class mark this one time is this one equal to this this one time is this equal to this this one time is this equal to zero and so on we have to find summation we use class mark method to find the mean it equal summation of fi times xi over summation of frequency good and the mean equal to 980.78 that is the mean. Let's find median. Median. Class limit are available. First, we have to find cumulative frequency and then calculate the median class by this formula. Summation of frequency divided by 2. Then the value greater than and nearest to summation of frequency divided by 2. It becomes a median class. Then we can use this formula. Let's understand the symbols of this formula. L lower limit of the median class, H length of the interval class, summation of Fi is the total number of observations, 
CF cumulative frequency for the class preceding the median class, F frequency of the median class. While solving the example, you can understand better. Good. Let's find cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency for this one directly equal to 20, for this one 20 plus 3 equal to 23, and so on. For this one, 23 plus 0 is 23, 23 plus 1, 24, 24 plus 0, 24, 24 plus 1, 25. That's the cumulative frequency. Let's determine median class. Median class is equal to summation of frequency divided by 2, which equal 25, uh, which equal 12.5. It 25 divided by 2 equal 12.5. The number is the frequency greater and nearest to 12.5 is 20. So this one become median class. Now let's apply the formula. We have this formula. Now ME is median, L lower limit is 30. Summation of frequency divided by 2 is equal to 25 divided by 2 is 12.5. CF, cumulative frequency for the class before median class, we don't have any class, so it equal to zero. Edge, class interval, 1041 minus 30, which equal to 1011. F, frequency of median class, which is equal to 20. Just put this into the equation we get median as 661.87. That's the way to calculate median. This time let's find mod. Mod in frequency table. Mod can be found first and identify the largest frequency of the class, call it modal class, and then apply the following formula. We have this formula. Let's understand the symbols. L is the lower limit of the modal class. H is the length of interval class. D0 is the frequency of the class preceding the modal class. D1 is the frequency of modal class. D2 is the frequency of the class succeeding or the class after modal class. Let's start. First, a modal class, largest frequency, call it modal class. This one, largest frequency. So this one is a modal class. Now let's apply the formula. Let's find the symbols. L is 30. H class interval, which equal to 1011. 1041 minus 30 equal to 1011. Denote is the frequency for the class before modal class. We don't have any class, so it equal to zero. D1 frequency of modal class, which equal to 20. D2 is the frequency of the class after, after modal, modal class, which equal to three. Now just put into the equation we get mod and it equal 576.486. That's the way to calculate mod. That's all. Have a nice time.